Today's lesson is repeating patterns. This is lesson one and topic two of fourth grade envision. The guiding question for this lesson is, how can you continue a repeating pattern? The vocabulary for this lesson is as follows. Unit and repeating pattern. Please copy these terms and their meanings down in box one of your homework sheet. Let's begin with the problem-based interactive learning. You will complete this problem in box two of your homework sheet. This is the beginning of a pattern. How can you continue this pattern? What do you think that, what do you predict will be the 10th shape in the pattern? You may pause the video now. Let's begin. When I'm completing a repeating pattern, the first thing I need to do is I need to find the unit. The unit is either the, shape, uh, the number or figures that are going to continue to repeat themselves throughout the pattern. What I do is I start from the beginning and I look through the pattern to see if a shape continues to appear over and over again. Here I see an orange rectangle and I see the same figure at the beginning followed by a green triangle. And here I see the same two. So this is where the unit stops. This is where the unit begins. So I'm going to identify this as my unit. This rectangle is the beginning shape. So here is where the second unit will begin. So I'm going to write unit right below this. I'm going to number my shapes above so I know how many I need to find. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now I am on the seventh and it follows the green triangle that follows the orange rectangle. So I look to my unit, green triangle that follows the orange rectangle and it's a red trapezoid. So the next shape is a red trapezoid. So that I'm going to label seven. Okay, now I need to look to my unit and follow, uh, find what shape follows the red trapezoid. It is a green triangle. So the green triangle is the next shape in the pattern. Now I need to look for the next shape in the pattern. And I notice that there is a green triangle here that follows the red trapezoid, but that is the end of my unit. So I will start all over again with the orange triangle. And that is the next figure or shape in the pattern. So that is nine, but I am not done because I need to find the tenth. Following the orange rectangle is the green triangle. So that is the next shape in the pattern. And that completes my problem. So by identifying the unit, I can complete my pattern. Let's try another. The first thing I need to do here is I need to find the next three numbers in the pattern. Let's look and to see if we can find where the unit is. I, lo I look and I see a 6, a 9, a 1, and a 4. And then I see a 6 and a 9 and a 1 and a 4. So knowing that the 6 is the first number followed by a 9, this is where my unit ends. The unit ends right after the four. So I'm going to write unit right below this. Now, I notice that we have a six, a nine, a one, and a four. So here's the six. What number follows the nine? Let's look to our unit. The 1 follows the 9. All right, so what number follows the 1? Go back to the unit. The 1 is followed by a 4. 
And once I get to the four, I start at the beginning of my unit again, which is six. And those are the next three numbers in the pattern. So by identifying the unit, I can continue the repeating pattern. So in a repeating pattern, the unit appears over and over again. So down at the bottom, we are going to create a repeating pattern and we need to find out what is the 16th figure in this pattern. So here I have set up some arrows or figures that are my unit. So right below this I'm going to write unit. This is the part of the pattern that's going to repeat. Arrow up, arrow to the sides, arrow down, arrow to the sides. I need to repeat these four again. This is the same unit is going to appear again. This is five, six, seven, eight. But I need to go to the sixteenth. So what I would need to do is after arrow to the side, we'd go arrow up arrow to the side, arrow down, and arrow to the side. So that would continue the unit. Those same four figures. Now sometimes it's not four. It may have been four for some of the examples that we have done, but sometimes the figures can be two and sometimes it could be one. So a repeating pattern doesn't always have to be four shapes, figures, or numbers. What you need to do is find the unit first. Okay, so now we are on the 12th figure. Here is my arrow to the side. I need to go all the way back to the beginning, and the next figure, the 13th, would be arrow up. So that would be the 13th. What figure follows arrow up? What would be the 14th? Arrow to the side. It would be the next figure that follows arrow up. Very good. Okay. And what would be the 15th figure? So you're going to go back to your unit and find which one follows arrow to the side would be arrow down. Very good. And what would be the 16th figure? So you go back to your unit and it would be arrow to the side. And that's how a unit helps you with a repeating pattern. So let's work on the two patterns in the guided practice. We need to draw the next three shapes to continue the pattern. What I need to do first is I need to look at the beginning. I see a small orange rectangle, a large, and a, we're going to say this is medium. So this is a small, this is a large, and this is a medium. So this is the part where the, the unit ends. So this is where my unit begins. So we're going to label this unit. It is small large, medium, small, large, medium, small, large, and the medium is just a little bit bigger than, and we can shade it, okay, and then after the medium, we go back to the beginning of the unit, which is small, oops, And then after small comes large. And so that those are the next three shapes in the pattern. Those are the next three. All right, so let's do number two. Write the next three numbers to continue the pattern. Nine, two, seven, six. 
nine, two. All right, so I see that the nine is the beginning. So here is where my unit ends and here's where my unit begins. So there is my unit. Okay, so nine, two, seven, six, nine. So what number follows the nine, the two, and what number based on my unit follows the two, seven, and following the seven is the six. And that's how you use a unit to help you find the numbers or shapes or figures to complete a pattern. All right, for independent practice, please complete five through 12 in box three of your homework sheet. And to connect to the concept in box four, why do you think patterns help you with math? If you have any questions or comments, please bring those to class tomorrow. That's all for now.